find a middle ground um, between her caucus and um, with the majority in this case, or when she was presiding officer in the minority. And uh, I, I know, look, it's, it's tough for me personally to talk about her. Uh, this is my first day um, looking at um, her empty seat. It is extremely difficult for me personally to say things about my friend who is no longer here anymore. But I ask that we continue to remember her in our hearts and in our spirit. Um, Judy would want that. Um, she was a very humorous and happy person, um, always there for a joke or a laugh. And I think from that standpoint as well, uh, I think we, in the spirit of Judy Jacobs, try not to get so focused and bogged down, which I can be from time to time, uh, on so serious in this matter. So, I learned a lot from Judy Jacobs. Um, I can't say enough good things about her. I'm sorry to see her not here anymore. And I just wish that her family um, continue to receive the blessings as well as our, our family and friends because she was a friend to all. But thank you for giving me the opportunity. That was an awesome. I, I, if there's anyone else who would like to say something on behalf of Judy Jacobs. Anybody else? No? Okay. No. Um, Legislator Walker? Yeah, I would just like to quickly say I, I had the pleasure of knowing Judy for uh, probably about 25 years or more. Um, before I was over here in the legislature, I was a councilwoman in Oyster Bay. And my husband, God rest his soul, before he passed away, was a commissioner in the town of Oyster Bay. And I would always love for Judy to tell stories how much she worked with John, God rest his soul, and how much they helped each other out. And oftentimes when we go to events, when, especially when I became a legislator, there were certain events that afterwards Judy and myself, sometimes Laura would join us, we'd go to the diner, which many of you who know Judy that was kind of the special place, and we had always had the special diners to go to. And, but I could tell you whenever we went there, we didn't talk government, we didn't talk politics. We talked about her Sid and my John. We talked about our families, our children, our grandchildren. And that's what I will miss so, so much about Judy. Uh, those special times that we had together, certainly all that she was involved in in Nassau County, and how she cared so much about her districts and really all of the county and what she has given to us and all the hard work she gave. But I'll miss those special moments that what was number one to her and certainly number one to me is family. And I know that her family knows that and that will help them continue on. So I just to ask you all to keep her in our prayers and thank all of us we realize how quick life changes in an instant. And sometimes we do get bogged down, we say, on some of the other issues, and we really realize what's important in life. And I too, come on, I look over at those flowers and can't believe she's not here with us. But I do know she's with us, smiling down on all of us, and probably saying, come on, get it on, get on with things, and get busy to work because you have work to do. So. God bless Judy, God bless your family, and God bless you all. Legislator, I, uh, I would just add that uh, throughout 21 years, there have been many tense times, many acrimonious debates, heated debates. She never for one instant was anything less than a gracious uh, individual. She never for one instant anything less than a friend. Um, she was a passionate, compassionate, <coughs> compassionate public servant. I think we will all miss her, most especially her smile. Thank you very much. All right. Good morning. Well, raise your hands. Legislator DeRidgey Wood. I just want to mention one other moment of silent mourning. We we also lost a very another very dear friend with Anne Pamelletti and. 
every time I would see Judy, she would ask me how Anne was the last couple months. And Anne really suffered, unfortunately, towards the end. And it was a very tough couple of weeks, last couple of weeks. And I had some kind of solace after just losing Judy of knowing that she's going to be there. And she's going to have everything all set up for her. And the two of them are going to have coffee together and just relax. And I kept, I kept talking to Anne about it. And I think it gave her some solace, too, because everyone loved being friends with Judy. So I just want to say that Anne was an incredible um, support in Glen Cove and then also in the county. She, she had an incredible caring for everyone. And I feel that I just lost two major people in my life within two weeks of each other. And they both were mentors and they both were very caring people. And I know that I will miss them for a very, very, very long time. So thank you. Thank you very much. recognize individuals within other county government as well as within our districts uh, for outstanding accomplishments. And I'm going to begin uh, with Dr. Imhoff, the uh, director of the uh, Department of Social Services, who year after year um, has a list of individuals, employees, month by month, who have really and truly uh, gone over and above uh, their, uh, their prospective uh, obligations. So at this point, I have a list of 12 employees of the month, beginning with uh, the year 2015, October 2015, right up to September 2016. And we have citations for each and every one of them, but I'm going to ask Dr. Inhofe to please be so kind as to introduce each individual. Uh, and of course, at, uh, after all of them are recognized, we will then take a group picture down at the, uh, in, at the chamber. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Paul Broderick and I are very privileged uh, to present uh, these employees uh, before the legislature. Uh, our department uh, has served over 250,000 people a year over the past several years. And the individuals who day in and day out are the ones who, on a professional and courteous uh, basis, really reach out and help all of your constituents in your communities. And we have, since 2007, each month recognized a total now of 108 of our DSS employees for their professionalism, their courteous, their respect uh, to the members of our, our communities. Uh, we're indeed proud to have them here today, and they were selected and not just by saying, pick me, but by many, many dozens and dozens of their colleagues. And each of them have been noted for the way in which they not only help our constituents in Nassau County, but how they help their colleagues as well. Uh, they are the most outstanding, and we have the most outstanding, in my judgment, Department of Employees in the county. And every month we're, we're very privileged to pick one each month. I wish we could pick more. But we wanted to bring the last 12 employees of the month in social services up here to say hello to you, for you to meet them, uh, and to receive a commendation from the legislature. When I call your name, if you would mind coming up to the front, uh, Jason Perkowski is case supervisor in CPS Investigations, Deborah Hatch, case supervisor two in CPS, Melissa Greco, social welfare examiner two in new applications, come right up there by the shoulder to shoulder, Gladys Rodriguez, social welfare examiner two, Janice Hyman, Social Welfare Examiner Supervisor 1. Oscar Ramis, Social Welfare Examiner 2. Suzanne Sachs, I know her name is too many, too many of you. Our Clerk 3 in the Commissioner's Office. Alexis Pegram, Social Welfare Examiner 2. Sarah Smith, Case Supervisor 3. Renee Pearson, Social Welfare Examiner 2. Deborah DiStefano, Clerk 2 in our Payroll Department and Doug Pratt, Social Welfare Examiner 1. 
uh, in the employment. These are our most recent employees of the month. Your job is not an easy one, and each day, uh, I'm sure you are challenged to the point where you say, what do I do next? But obviously, you know what to do next because you're standing here before us today. So I congratulate each and every one of you for being the honoree of, of the month since last October, and I know that this will continue uh, because you are certainly worthy of recognition. So anything else you would like to say, Dr. Hemmel? Thank you very much for the privilege of presenting all of our employees okay. to the legislature. Thank you. Okay, now we have a citation for each and every one of you. And I think our best bet, since we are so many, we're going to take the picture down uh, down in the, uh, in, in the chamber. And anyone who wants to join us, Mr. Bernard and Nita, uh, would you like to join us? All right, let's go. Let's go for the one, please. Oh, by the way, we have a citation for each and every one of you. So, uh, Liz, would you please assist and give them out, and so that we can have them for a big program.